The Bahamas should develop a sustainable and strategic action plan to combat the effects of climate change. Leading Caribbean economist Mala Dukaran sharing as much during her address at this year's RF Bank Business Outlook Seminar at the Bahama Convention Center. The economist says building socioeconomic resilience is key in tackling the climate crisis. There is a lot of money and resources that has to be spent on climate mitigation and climate adaptation because a lot of the the problems that we have related to the to the climate crisis is already baked in. So even if we were to stop carbon emissions today, like no more carbon emissions as of today, we still have problems that will come to us in terms of the rise in the sea level, in terms of the warming of the Earth's atmosphere, etc. So it's not even just about the, the carbon emissions, it's about making sure that whatever we do, we do it like we build and you know we create an environment that is that is not susceptible to to the rising sea level for example and the category five storm for example we have to just build with that in mind now prime minister of the bahamas the honorable philip davis has led the charge in calling for sustainable action in the climate fight during his recent address to caricom delegates Prime Minister Davis noted that climate resilience is the obvious answer to climate woes. He also acknowledged that the financial toll taken by rising sea levels and frequent storms serves as a threat to funding climate change initiatives. Davis also reiterated his call for more climate mitigation funding to tackle the climate crisis. Now, over the last seven years, the Bahamas has suffered more than $4 billion in damage and losses due to hurricanes. Well, the biggest risk we're facing is climate change, the climate crisis, actually. It's no longer change, right? It's a crisis. Um, as a matter of fact, I was talking about in my presentation that the World Economic Forum and their World Risk Report in January of this year, they highlighted the 10 top risks facing the global economy. And out of those top 10 risks, five of them are related to climate change and the lack of adequate um, climate change mitigation and adaptation. So I think that's the biggest crisis that, and the biggest risk that's, we're, that's facing the whole region.